video update time again. Ready? No. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Hey. How's it going? We're back. We're back. It is August. And so we really haven't made a video for several months. We just um, needed to kind of settle in. There was a lot of moving parts to that whole uh, situation there. Lots of moving parts. Lots of moving parts. Uh, let's take you on a tour. We moved the trampoline and just kind of created a singular kids area situation, play area. Um, Matt started building a greenhouse with our, our friend, Ryan. friend Ryan who brought his camper here and he's our land meet. What's left is a couple of purlins and the framework for both sides of the, the greenhouse. And we'll have some internal shelving probably anchored to these running boards. Hey Jack. For real? For real Coming bro. up in our video. What's up bro? We're really looking forward to getting the greenhouse done here in the next week or so. It's um Hi puppy. Alright, so we um totally enclosed this Hugo Culture no. Mountain no. that we're gonna start <laughs> getting going. Right. Um Matt is fighting a goat. <laughs> today in our video. That pesky goat. Uh, we had to put up massive shade coverings because oh my gosh it, we were just getting crispied out here in this August sun. Get him. Get him. I can't believe Jack is here. I'm trying to make a video. Water tank over there. It is uh, still over halfway full and then we just have a pump inside and we run it over to the camper. And then there's the generator. We use that to work the pump inside. And so then we can fill up the um, the water tank over here by the front porch. What is going a on? Fight a goat. <laughs> Jack, you're going to show us where the outhouse is? And so then Matt did build a composting toilet. Uh, Matt, you want to show us what's up with that? Sure. So I found the plans online and I did some slight modifications to them. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's got a nice deck. Uh, I used pressure treated for uh, all the, uh, the, the the wood that was, you know, making contact with the ground. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> how does it work though? Uh, well, okay. So I did make another video in Gig Harbor a little bit about how a composting toilet works. Um, this video will just elaborate on that one. Uh, essentially, you use the restroom, no matter what it is, and then you add what's in this bucket here. It's just sawdust. So you just add in enough sawdust to completely cover whatever movement you had, and that's about it. There's some kind of protection over your hand. Um, you know, always wash your hands too when you're done and you take it to a uh, compost pile that is quarantined just for compost from your food scraps, uh, yard waste, and your human manure. Once the pile has reached a certain size, you cover it, you leave it for a year, and don't go near it, <laughs> don't mess with it, and then once a year has gone by, it is, it's turned into dirt by then, so it's pretty amazing. I've personally done it and I know it works so that's what we do out here alrighty on to the compost pile so something that we didn't show in our other videos but uh, I will show it in this one here it is it looks like a giant pile of branches <clears throat> with a black tarp over the top um, all the compost just goes in under the black tarp we just Keep it way in the woods here. It's fine. Matt, what are you doing? Eating huckleberries? We have a lot of huckleberries. Why don't you show me your Russian hacker um, wood chopper situation here? Uh, sure. 
because you love it so much. I wish I would have had found this video from the Russian Hacker Channel um, 15 years ago. Um, pretty simple. It basically just contains the wood as you chop so you're not constantly you know bending over and going to find wood or whatever. It just holds it in there. <clears throat> Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Matt, where are we going? We're walking. Whoa. So what's going on with the, the land as far as plants? What do we got growing? Um, well, right now, uh, not a whole lot. It's just really compacted. And you know, from the logging, so there's lots of little baby alders, and they're they're technically called pioneer plants. Here's some lupin. It's the plants that come back. Um, tansy. Uh, I noticed we have some uh, lady fern too popping up, and um, all the foxglove's gone. We did have lupin up here. There is still trailing blackberries, so there's still some native blackberries. But uh, essentially, these are the pioneer plants that are able to withstand the conditions and then they come this is even look a black raspberry right here a cane so that would have berries next year if the goats don't annihilate them first <laughs> so nine acres have been logged and they left a half acre of woods here and a half acre of woods over here yeah so the the things that are happening right now as far as us not really being up to date with the videos as I am going through a permaculture design course right now uh, to get my certification just to be able to kind of come into this landscape and, and 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 understand better what it needs and what would be the most beneficial things to do before we just start doing stuff so let's climb the hill let's climb the hill <laughs> Okay, top of the hill. So kind of got a really cool vantage point there of the whole little homestead coming along. And out of breath a little tiny bit. No, not me. No? Yeah, I'm so in shape. <laughs> so here you see kind of everything just happening. Greenhouse, south facing here. Uh, panels on top of the shipping container. Uh, down in here creating more maybe hopefully some sort of ponds natural swimming pool maybe even in here but definitely pond water catchment down in here so good culture mountain yeah and if we're looking at the lowest point on our property it's gonna be in that valley yeah right in here because you can see here these trees go up a hill so this is all hill and then we're standing on a hill right in here and it just kind of wraps around so all the water just naturally wants to go down in this area and it's interesting because it's been so hot it's been you know we're getting into the 90 degree weather and you can see this whole area right here is green so if there was a predominant uh, native berry that's on our property Oh, probably huckleberries, huckleberries and salal. There's a lot of that to be picked and it's actually picking time right now for that. And yeah, so we're doing a lot of foraging and making update videos and trying to keep everybody up to speed as much as we can. Um, and just doing a lot of observation, like one of our last videos was, you know, Laura talking about the, the importance of just obs observing your property and, and kind of seeing what it's doing because um, the land ultimately is just going through a massive transformation after the logging period. So it's really been really cool just to see everything kind of springing back and we're just um, stoked to be here. We're stoked. We're stoked. Well, I'm really glad that you took time today to come check out our video and see our progress on this property. And um, we hope you come back and see, just follow along as our other projects get done. Yeah. Much love.
We'll see you later. Peace, Peace. Peace and love.